Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a fall clothing haul and how I typically style my outfits on the day today during my most favorite season of the year. Okay, okay. so I get so many questions on my outfits and I figured this would be the best spot for me to come and share with you all of the things that are in my closet that are like new or new-ish for this fall that I've collected from like August until now, which is like mid-September. So just some things that I have in my closet um, that I wear on the daily or like the way that I style the outfits, things that I wear um, together, etc. So one of my most favorite pieces that I wear all the time is this black hat. I want to get one in like a darker tan, one in like a light like grayish color. Um, I want all the colors in this kind of hat because you can wear this with a sweatshirt and make it look cute. You can wear this with a dress to a wedding and have it look super cute. You can wear this with like casual. I swear this hat goes with every single outfit in my closet. I could be bumming or totally going like to the nines and this hat always works. So um, I will have this one linked down below for you guys. It is from Target. Speaking of linked down below, everything will be linked down below for you guys. Like I said, I get so many questions as to like where I get my things. So I will have all of the links down below for you guys in the order that I bring them up. So, all right, I'm going to run through the rest of the hats that I wear because I wear hats a lot. Uh, my like, what I typically will do is I will wash my hair at night, wake up the next morning and curl it. Or sometimes I will wake up in the morning, curl it, blow dry it. Regardless, I would consider that as like day one with curls. Day two with curls, I'll do like some dry shampoo, bring it back to life. Day three with curls, I will wear a hat. So we're on day three of curls today and they look the best like curl wise, but I just even dry shampoo can't save that, that scalp honey. So but anyways, I wear hats a lot. I wear them several times a week and then I rotate them in and I wear a lot of loungewear. Since I'm doing like a styled lookbook, I'm like just, I'm dressed nicer, right? Typically I'm wearing loungewear because I work from home and I'm running all over the place all of the time. If I was wearing really nice clothes while running those like errands and like cleaning and organizing all of those things, like I would just be so uncomfortable. So anyways, I just, I need movement, I need freedom, which thankfully means I can wear leggings most of the time, but anyway. Okay, so hopping into the rest of my hats that I will wear. So this is hat number one, like I said, and I would like it in every color. This is hat number two, and this is one of my most favorite hats ever. It is like a suede material, um, like, yeah, I would say like a suede material, but also like a little rougher than suede. I consider this material to be in between like a felt and a suede. I don't know, it's a little bit rougher, but Anyways, this is one of my most favorite hats to wear in the colder months because it kind of looks like a um, like a fuzzy, like a like a winter cap. But anyways, this one is like shaped so well and just like looks so good on my head. I've had this one forever. I will find a similar one and link that down below for you guys. But I will typically style this. I'll show you guys at the end in the lookbook. I'll show you how I style these pieces all together. Um, but I'll typically wear this more on like my loungy days. This next hat that I got um, is actually a more recent purchase. This one is from Target and I think I got it for like $15. Um, it's like a, I don't know, I always get confused if it's like leopard or cheetah, but it is an animal print. And I, again, will more so wear like the baseball cap style on my more relaxed loungewear days, but I wear hats all the time. So again, link down below for you guys. This hat that I wear quite often now that it's getting colder outside is this beanie. And this one is from H&M. It's just a mustard yellow color. I think it goes really nicely in the fall months and it looks really nice with curls. I actually wear this when I go on my walks a lot because it's really windy where I live and this kind of keeps my hair out of my face. But also I like look cute when I'm going on a walk. So when like the wind is blowing in my face, my hair's not like all over the place. This like, it holds it in place. Like it holds it down and it like, my hair will typically blow out of my face instead of into my face. So anyways, I highly, highly recommend getting a beanie if you like to go on all the walks, but I will wear this every single day on my morning walk and I absolutely love this hat. This color is so perfect for fall. Okay, so coming back to my original look, um, like I said, those like hats 
and the bandanas and the headbands like those all like they save me so much time and make me look so much more put together if I'm just like quick if I'm just quick trying to get out of the house in the morning when I bring in Kai to preschool I've got like Riker screaming at my feet I just like I quickly just like boom 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 I just like throw on a hat or like whatever so nice and I look so much more put together when I wear those things so Highly recommend those. Next thing I'm going to hop into are my fall scents this year. All of my fall perfumes have come from Dossier. They sent me a few of their new scents. And if you're not familiar with Dossier, they do like, basically it's like equivalent to um, higher end perfume, um, but it's much more affordable. Um, and they do like similar scents. Um, so if you like dupes, if you will, of perfumes. And one of my most favorite ones that I've been trying to get my hands on is the Le Labo Santel 33. And I literally wear this perfume every day. As you guys can see, I've already gotten a good chunk out of it. Um, and their like dupe for it is called Oriental Woody 8. Um, I love it. This one's top notes are Violet Accord and Cardamom. The middle notes are Iris, Ambrox, Ambrox pap Papyrus. Base notes are cedarwood, leather, and sandalwood. I love cedarwood and sandalwood, like base of anything. So um, this one is just a really yummy, it's actually a unisex scent. I was really excited to get my hands on this dupe for it and I highly, highly recommend it. It smells so good. My husband like smelled it and he was like, oh my goodness, like this is like, this is a like level up perfume, very good. Another reason why I love the Dossier perfumes is because they are cruelty free, they have clean ingredients, and there's no markups on the perfumes. Again, I highly, highly recommend them. I love them. I've been using them for about a year now, and I've really been liking all of the scents and how similar they are to the like higher brand, more expensive, triple the price perfumes. I think I wanted to mention really quick about my the Oriental Woody 8. I think they changed the names on them. This one is, this one is called Woody Sandalwood. Um, and it is inspired by Le Labo Fragrances Santel 33. Like I said, this is my absolute favorite. I do also own the Citrus Green Apple by Dossier, and it's very similar to, it's inspired by Dolce Gabbana's light blue scent. So yummy. The next one that I chose for this fall, and I was kind of experimenting a little bit with these other two. I knew that I was going to love that first one, um, but the second one that I got was the Oriental Woody 7. As you can see, since it's fall, I'm doing more of like a woody scent, like a warmer, um, this is like a lot of the perfumes that I wear are unisex and this one is more of a floral woody scent if I'm being honest um, this is the Orion Oriental Woody 7 and it is inspired by Victor and Rolf's um, flower bomb my husband uses the spice bomb and it's my most favorite cologne ever so I got the flower bomb version this time oh so good okay this is like a this is a very sophisticated scent like Ooh. Oh, oh, smells so good. Anyways, it's like it's very sophisticated. Another thing with the Dossier perfumes is they always come with like little like samples to make sure that you're going to love that perfume before you use the entire bottle. Um, so anyways, and then I love that I have like little travel sizes so I can shove them in my purse because sometimes like when I'm on the like road and I'm gonna like meet with people, a lot of times like when I'm meeting with um, other mamas in, the, in like the area or I'm doing like a collab or I have like a business meeting, I just like grab one of those little travel perfumes and I spritz myself real quick. Something that I got, I really went out on a limb. I'm not not like a super florally person, but I wanted to try it. Um, if I'm being honest with you, I don't know if this is necessarily my style. It is a very high quality smelling perfume. Um, this one is the Floral Six, and it is inspired by the um, Jo Malone English Pear and Fresia, I believe, but this is a um, unisex perfume and like I said, this is very, this is very florally. So it might take some getting used to. I sprayed a couple spritzes this morning and it was too much. Like it's very, very strong, but it is beautiful. And if you like the Jo Malone scents, you will like this. One of my favorite Jo Malone, jo Malone scents is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And I do use that quite often, the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Um, because again, I like more of like a masculine or like a woodsy scent, like cedarwood, sandalwood, I really, really love, and sage. Oh, I just, I love those undertones. So this one was a stretch for me and I knew that, but it does smell 
really good if you're into florals. Um, but again, I highly recommend that you guys go and check out Dossier because it has been like a whole new thing for me. And I think that their labels are just so cute. They're just like black and white with just like a little pop of color. And it's like such a simple label. I love the way that they look when they're sitting up on my shelf. But anyways, um, those are what I have been wearing this fall along with Dolce Gabbana light blue. That is like my like standard um, fall scent. But I would say now that I've been experimenting with these perfumes, I would definitely add um, the Oriental Woody 8 by Dossier, which is, which is inspired by Le Labo Santal 33. Um, I will add that into the mix as well. And I'm always open to new perfume suggestions. So let me know in the comments below, what are your favorite fall perfumes? This is going to be a really long video, but you guys asked for it and you want to know all of the things. So I'm giving you all of my tips, like everything that I wear as far as like from like head to toe in perfume, like this is what I've been doing. I wear very minimal makeup today. I'm just wearing like a little bit of foundation to cover the circles under my eyes, but I typically wear nothing. Um, and I get my lashes filled, like I have lash extensions and then I get my eyebrows microbladed. So that's like what I do for my face every day. Um, now let's move to my feet. So shoes, I'm very simplistic when it comes to my shoes and my closet. I don't want too many options because otherwise I'm not going to wear them enough. Um, and I want something that I am going to wear. So I have several pairs of Sorel wedge boots, which I'm going to show you in my like winter style, um, lookbook, whatever my winter clothing haul, because I don't wear them a ton in the fall towards the end of the fall. When it starts to get colder outside, I will wear them. Um, if it like snows a little bit because yes, it snows here in Minnesota before winter. So anyway, I do wear those Sorel wedge boots towards like November, but, um, most of the time, like September through the end of November, I will just wear really simple, um, like slip on shoes. Um, now that I'm staying home anyways, when I was working, one of my favorite go-tos in the fall were like little, um, I believe that these are called mules. This pair is from Target. They still have them. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. This is one of my most favorite prints. It's just, it's super simple. It's not too much going on and it's very sophisticated. I wore these for a photo shoot the other night um, with one of my favorite dresses, which I'm gonna show you here in a second that I just got. Um, but these go with everything, like literally everything, my business outfits, my casual outfits, and my dresses. I guess not everything. I couldn't wear these with like sweatpants. That might be a little a little too much. But um, if I am wearing sweatpants, okay. So I've had this next pair for quite a while. I wanted to show you guys regardless because I think the Target still carries them, and they're like the perfect shoe. I actually sized up in these, and I'm kind of glad that I did. So I have large feet. I have like a size 10 foot. I know it's just monstrous. And I got these on clearance in a size 11. And when I wear like good socks with them, they they actually um, fit super well and they don't give me blisters. But these have been everywhere with me, you guys. I've worn these to Disney World, all over Florida. Every single time that I travel, I wear these um, like road trips. They're so easy to slip on and off in the vehicle. I think that's why I love them so much is because they just slip right on and off and I don't like to wear shoes when I'm in the car. I will wear these on my daily walk because I take Riker on a walk every morning and I really like to just have some kind of tennis shoe. Um, I would clearly not wear like my mules um, when I'm going on a walk. And sometimes I don't want to wear like lace up tennis shoes so these are a really good compromise so similarly i just got these ones and you guys were freaking out about them over on my instagram um these these come in a million different colors these are the steve madden gills and i love that they have like a thicker platform on them it's not too much though because sometimes like there's so much that i feel like they look absurd but um these I got in the tan suede and these go with literally everything. As you guys can see, I've clearly worn them. I do wear these lately on my daily walks. I've been wearing these because I've been trying to break them in, um, but I want to keep them clean. So one of my tips to you guys, if you're trying to keep your shoes clean is I actually use a magic eraser on them. And then I will use like a water, ooh. <laughs> and then I will use a, like a waterproof like spray, like stain resistant spray on them. Um, just because especially when they're suede, um, they tend to um, discolor, get stains, etc., really easily. And they have that like white um, sole. And then on the back, they have these cute little like details. But these are hands down my most favorite shoes. I'm obsessed with them right now. I want them in every single color and they're selling out really fast. So I'll have them linked down below for you guys. I'm going to have several different colors linked for you because um, 
I got these directly off the Steve Madden website, but I know that Nordstrom sells them. Nordstrom sells them along with a couple of other um, websites. The DSW, I think, is another one because my friend Taylor was just telling me that she has a pair in gray and she got them from DSW. So definitely, definitely go snag a pair of those because they're so cute. They go with everything and they're just like a level up. So I'm gonna show you an example. These are my Target ones that I have worn to death. You guys can see here um, that these are pretty beat up. But this shoe compared to this shoe, do you see what I mean? Like the um, the the sole on them, that like thicker sole just makes them, I don't know, it just gives it a little bit more of an edge over like these ones. Although I do love these ones, I'm not hating on them. Um, they're just a little bit, I'd say like fancier, right? They're cuter, um, more like Instagram worthy, if you will. I'm finally going to hop into my clothing pieces and I'm going to do them really quick because I still want to show you a styled look book at the end and this video is going to be like 45 minutes long if I don't wrap it up. <laughs> what I'm wearing right now, this black cardigan, it's a long cardigan, um, and I got it for $20 at Target. The pants that I'm wearing right now, these are paper bag pants, and they're like high-waisted. These are in a plum color. I'm not super, like, overly crazy about plum, okay, guys? I'm not, like, a huge purple person, but... I saw these and I saw like the fit and the shape of them and I had to have them. These are, so they're high-waisted and then like the pant leg on them is, um, like it comes up to my ankles and I usually wear these pants with mules, um, but they have more of a tapered fit to them. Um, but I really, really love this color for, for fall. I think it's perfect. If I could find these in like a black and like a charcoal, I would definitely snag them. Um, I got these from Maurice's for $34.99, and I believe that these went anywhere from like an extra small all the way up to a double XL. Okay, moving right along. So these are not in any particular order, but I will tell you where they're from and approximately how much they cost. Um, first one is a Wild Fable shirt from Target. I recently just got this. All of this stuff I've recently purchased within the last like three weeks or so. So everything should be in stock. It should be there. Um, this one is a Wild Fable tie-dye like crop shirt. Um, I love this. It's like a boxy tee crop, right? So this for me, so see, even like with like loungewear, this hat looks so good. I like to wear this and I'll just like wrap a sweatshirt around my waist because right now in Minnesota, like September can be like 80 degrees during the day and then 50 degrees in the morning and 50, 40 degrees at night. It's so cold. Um, so I always have a sweatshirt wrapped around my waist just in case, but um, this is really cute, super stretchy and I love the like army green tie dye in here. It just makes it, just gives it more of like a fall vibe with these colors absolutely absolutely love this shirt i wear it all the time the next shirt is from pebby for Rebby. um you guys know that i'm obsessed with pebby's <laughs> shirts they're her oversized tees i wear them every day whether it be to bed or like when i'm getting ready in the morning or if i'm like tucking it into some paper bag shorts or pants or oh my gosh i wear them all the time um this is the one that i just most recently picked up i mostly got it just because of the coloring on it um, I do not know what it's called, but I will have it linked down below for you guys. Um, and these are the side slit tees, and it's more of like a faded. It's a thicker material, which I like too, so it's not thin. Um, and the um, side slit gives you just like a little bit more movement and hip room. And if you have a little bit of a mama pooch like me, it hides it. I wanted to give you guys an example of another side slit tee. Um, I did purchase this earlier this summer, I believe. I don't know if I included it in a haul for you guys, but I wear it all the time. Um, this is the Renegade shirt, which, I mean, how cute with this hat. I love this oversized tee and I'll wear like, I'll show you guys here next, but I will wear it with like, um, like a button up, like over, um, an oversized button up. It's so cute. And then, like I said, I can like tuck this into like high-waisted shorts or just like let it, go free and flow um, with a pair of leggings. They're so versatile and I absolutely, absolutely love them. Okay, so the next one is from Target and I got a lot of questions on this um, when I posted it on Instagram. So 
This is a universal thread and I purchased it in a double XL because I wanted it to be super oversized. I found this shirt in the strangest place. It's really hard for me to show you guys this shirt like because it's black and I'm wearing black um, but I'll show you in the lookbook at the end. Um, it's a button up. It's more of like a faded like denim-y look like slash feel and the sleeves I usually fold up but do you see how it's kind of like that faded color that faded black denim looking color. It is not denim. It's more of like a cottony like I don't know how to explain this but um, this material I really actually like when this material is a little bit more wrinkly. Um, if it gets a little too out of hand I will see steam it but I like this material in a more wrinkly um, I like this material a little bit more wrinkly because I think it gives you just like it it gives it a little bit of a bit of an edge does that make sense I don't know anyways love this one and I got this for about 20 bucks from Target the shirt that I got is a wild fable from Target I'm loving the tie-dye the fall tie-dye colors that have been coming out lately at Target and they're so affordable. These shirts are so, so, so affordable. I think that first one, that first like green tie dye one I showed you was eight bucks. Um, and then this long sleeve, it's like an ombre type of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like maroon on one side and um, like a pinkish blush pink color on the other. And this is a boxy fit as well. And it is a crop. So it's like a boxy crop. But when I tell you guys, like I don't like crops usually because my mama belly shows, but these are just long enough that they still kind of hide it and the boxy fit is perfect. If you've got big hips like me and if you have a little bit of a mama poosh, like it's just, it, these fit me perfectly. And I am like, just for reference, I'm right around 5'9", five, 5'10", five, on a good day I'm 5'9 and a half, on a bad day I'm 5'9", but I'm very tall um, and I have a really long waist, or I have a really long torso and I have a really, I have really long legs. So it's kind of hard to shop sometimes, but these boxy tees, they, they fit me so well and they're so cute. Again, if it's really cold outside, I will toss a sweatshirt around my waist. Um, something else I wanted to include, which you guys are probably gonna laugh, but I love doing tie-dye with my family out at the lake. And the last lake week when, the last lake weekend we had there was for Labor Day. And I wanted to use the rest of the tie-dye supplies that we had out there for the season. Um, so I just decided I was gonna do like something like kind of urban outfitters type of like feel. Um, I did black and blue mixed and I actually faded out to do this. Usually I'll leave the color on there for like two days, but we only did it for like 12 hours. So the color came out a little bit lighter. Um, but then I went through and like distressed it. So I actually really like this. I'll do like off like shoulder a little bit. I took a men's tee from Walmart and like stretched it when it was wet and like got the collar a little bit like wider. So like I said, it would kind of hang a little bit and then I distressed it with a scissors and I just kind of like pulled and like dragged the scissors across the t-shirt and like made holes in there um because this is very, the shirt is very like urban outfitters like feeling so anyway it's not perfect it's not as like thick as the nice urban shirts but i got this shirt for like 3.94 at walmart and i did all of this myself so anyways i will be wearing these i think i've actually worn this in a video already yeah i think i have Anyways, I like that this this color for fall, um, along with like a like maybe like an orange or like my copper cardigan. I love that copper cardigan. All right, moving right along, <laughs> I've got so many things. Um, I got a couple of the universal thread um, boxy like crop tees. So I got them in an olive green, and I always size up in my boxy tees as well. I forgot to tell you guys that I'm usually like a large, maybe like an XL. I do get double XLs in certain items if I know I want them to be extra loose and like comfortable. So I did, I got these in a double XL and I'm really happy that I did because now they're like super like loose and comfy. But, um, and then I also got it in a white and I wanna say these were like six or eight dollars each. They usually are like even dollar numbers, um, but very affordable. I wanna say like everything all in all, I maybe spent I maybe spent a couple hundred dollars on everything um, with the exception of the dresses that I'm going to show you guys at the end. Next thing that I picked up was from Ruli 
If you guys have been around for a while, you know that my most favorite cardigan is this copper colored cardigan from Ruli, and I've been trying to find you guys something similar for so long. Um, Ruli does not sell this one anymore. I am on the hunt for it, don't worry guys. Um, I did contact Ruli as well to see if they would be bringing it um, back in stock, and this one is a um, brand that they carry. It's not truly like a Ruli brand. This is just one that they carry, so I'm trying to find it. It's hem and thread and it's in a large and anyways I wear this all the time you guys see me wear it in almost every single video I wound up finding the cutest sweater so I had a very specific look in my mind I have a lot of like band tees um, up in my closet like I've got an ACDC one I've showed you guys those I think that was in my last year's fall haul and I'm obsessed with those um, so I had a very specific look in mind when I got this cardigan but um, I was thinking like an ACDC oversized shirt with like very oversized cardigan. So usually in cardigans, like I said, this is a large. Um, and depending on the fit of them, like large XL, okay? Um, I purchased this in a triple XL because it was the only one left and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make it work. It was on clearance for 20 bucks. Um, I will have Ruli linked down below for you guys because like I said, a lot of my cardigans come from Ruli and H&M, just in case you're wondering. But a lot of them come from those two places. So I'll have them linked down below just so that you guys can go and see similar cardigans. I'm hoping they still have this one um, linked on the website, but they have the best cardigans. You guys need to head over there and stock their page for when they restock their cardigans because they're so, so, so good. If I say cardigan one more time, I'm gonna like explode. It's making my mouth hurt to say that word. So this bad boy is a mustard yellow triple XL and it is a lot heavier material. If we're gonna be comparing the two, again, I thought they looked like similar material on the website um, and they're not. So here's like my most favorite one and here is the new one. This one is really thick and heavy, very cute. I still wear it all the time, it's perfect for fall. Um, it's a little bit more orangey than what's showing up on the camera. Um, it's like compared to the true like mustard yellow, this is what the um, sweater looks like. True mustard yellow and then here this is like a, I don't know, it looks like somebody tossed a little bit of like orange zest into the color. But this is super cute with large pockets. And I'll show you guys how I style this here in just a minute. Next shirt that I got, oh my gosh, there's so much. Oh. Next shirt that I got is just a Rolling Stones tee from Target. I wanna say this was like 12 bucks. Um, I always tie these like, and I size up in these. So I will, let's see, what's it I get? I got a double X in this one. And then I will like tie the front of it up um, so that it's like an oversized but like fitted. I don't know, I just like to tie my, my tees up. Um, love this guy. Next thing I got is from Urban Outfitters and I love to get my t-shirt dresses from Urban Outfitters. Oversized tees I'll get from Pebby if I want something that's like longer in length. So for example, um, like a swimsuit cover. Uh, my Pebby shirts are great for swimsuit covers as well if I size up, but um, they have more like band tees and things like that over on the um, Urban site. So I got this really cute oversized Sublime tee. I'm obsessed with it. I can't wait for like, you see these like holes in here. I did not distress this, it came distressed. Um, I can't wait for these holes to kind of like stretch out and get distressed a little bit more because what they show on the website is like super distressed and it's gonna be super cute. Sorry, my sister's texting me because she misses me. Okay, anyway, so Sublime, this blue is a really pretty color. What did I get this in? I think it's like a one size. This is a large XL. Okay, okay, so you see how gigantic that is on me? Like, that is very, very large, but I love it. And it goes down to like past, like again, I'm a very tall girl, have a really long torso, and it like actually comes down to like mid-thigh. So, super cute, love it. I got this for like $39, so this is one of the more expensive shirts that I've gotten. Okay, last two items, ready guys? Um, I have a lot of weddings and events this fall. So, I went to Target on the look I went to Target on the lookout for actually a dress to wear to um to one wedding in particular. For the wedding that we have this weekend, it is actually our one of our best friends is getting married. Um, he was our roommate for like eight years when we were, when Mike and I, Mike and I have been together for like 11 years and he was our roommate for probably like eight of it. Anyways, he's finally getting married and I'm absolutely in love with his fiance. We get along so well. 
and I needed something cute to wear to the wedding. So I originally got this to wear on their wedding day, but I think I'm gonna wear this on their wedding or their rehearsal night, but this is a Knox Rose dress. Again, I, I did size up to a double XL. These ones fit me really weird, you guys. Like, I have very like wide hips and my my poor like mama boobs like are kind of pancakey. So they like <laughs> lay funny, that's so bad to say. I'm just being honest with you guys. <laughs> I, I have seen like, I have purchased one of these like style of dresses though in like a medium or a small and they have fit. I just prefer, I've preferred it to be a little bit more flowy. So I did got, get a double X. I would say literally I fit in probably almost every single size of this dress. So somebody please explain to me how that works. Um, anyway, but I love it. I love it. And I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on because it's beautiful. And I am obsessed with this like emerald green color this fall for all of the events with this hat gonna be so cute all right last item which is my absolute most favorite like hands on the best item out of everything um, and it is a dress from Baltic born like I said this is a Baltic born dress and this is the most beautiful dress I've ever seen the most beautiful dress I've ever seen um, a lot of the comments were saying to size up I did read the reviews I wasn't sure if this was like um, like a boutique that was like overseas or if this was something that was like in the US like I just I didn't know so this dress from Baltic Born I got an XL and I love this color I'm obsessed with this color I just did a photo shoot with Taylor in this dress I plan on wearing this to the wedding this weekend but this like the fit of the sleeve and like the cuff on the sleeves this way till I put it on it's absolutely gorgeous um, and it's perfect for fall even into winter if you have weddings coming up this winter or if you have maternity photos this would be perfect because of where this like where like the the line hits where this hits it's like directly underneath right your chest if you have a pregnant belly there's plenty of room um, in this dress and I do plan to keep this for a uh, maternity session sometime in the future it's so beautiful this was like $94 on Baltic Born I'll have a link down below for you guys the quality of this as well is like bridesmaid material bridesmaid dress material quality does that make sense it's very it's very well made and it's gorgeous i do you guys get it do you get it i love this dress go and buy this dress because it's amazing it comes in a bunch of different colors why are you not going right now and purchasing one because they're so cute hashtag not sponsored but i'm obsessed with this dress okay i changed my mind like 10 times on how i wanted to record this for you guys but i brought my body length mirror and i set it on the bench because <laughs> because it wasn't body length enough it was too it was too small so um anyways this is what i ultimately decided to do is bring you into my living room it's better lighting you can get a better idea for these outfits but um here's the outfit that i have been wearing in this video so these are those plum pants from marisa's i'm gonna stand back a little bit so you can get like a really good idea of the color um, so, and you can see like my little mama pooch, it like it hides my pooch very nicely. Um, this I would wear pretty much anywhere. Right now, like this would be really nice to wear with a bodysuit. I'm wearing like a, like a fitted like black tank top tucked into it and um, these, okay, so I, I just rolled these up one more time to kind of show you guys how I would style these with shoes, but like I said, I would wear these pants with mules it's pretty much the only thing i would wear these with are mules because sometimes when like things hit my ankle okay i'm gonna try and give you guys a better view sometimes when things like hit my ankle i'm so tall i don't know i just it makes me look funny i'm tall but i do have i am thick i've got some thighs on me i've got like bigger calves um but the mules like really help to um make my legs look slimmer and again making me look slimmer are the paper bag like it just it's very forgiving okay guys it like hides all of the not nice things and then i'm pairing it with the black cardigan from target 
and then my black hat as well from Target. Okay, I wanted to show you guys one other way that I would style these pants. Um, so I love the high waist on them, but I also love to tuck in like oversized tees into these high-waisted um, style of pants. You guys saw that I did this with my paper bag shorts that I had um, for the summer, but this is just that, this is that renegade tee, um, that side slit oversized um, like a renegade tee from Pebby Frabby. And I literally just swapped out like that tight fitted tank top for this um, graphic tee with the paper bag pants. And then I would just wear regular like tan mules. They're downstairs in my closet right now and I'm too lazy to run and get them. But this is another like more, I'd say like relaxed look. Um, if you're going for more of like that graphic tee look. Really, really love pairing and like tucking in these oversized tees into these, so cute. My next look is a very different look, but it is like my go-to for like the day-to-day, -day, especially when I'm gonna be going on walks and things like that. So here is that beanie and my oversized like t-shirt dress. This is the oversized tee t-shirt dress from Urban Outfitters. And then I paired it with these Steve Maddens. So a lot of times I will actually wear, because it's very unshapely, um, a lot of times I will wear something around my waist. Um, but I love these shoes. See what I mean? They just go with everything. And of course, I've got a million pairs of leggings for the fall too. Um, anyway, and I'm feeling like very happy with the way my legs are looking lately. I've been walking so much, trying to slim my legs down. Um, my belly is always just like my struggle bus. But anyway, I love, love, love this look. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I like tie a sweatshirt around my waist. Okay, so this is a lot of times how I will wear this outfit is just like, tying a cardigan around my waist um, and then having my shoes on. So literally the exact same outfit, but I just will tie a sweatshirt around my waist because like I said, the like weather here in Minnesota gets super cold really quick and I like to have something to warm me up um, like on me at all times. But anyways, I love this look. This is like one of my favorites. I wear this all the time. Kurt is a very sleepy boy and he's sleeping at my feet. <laughs> but um, basically like the same outfit, um, but this is that Rolling Stones tee. This is another daily look for me. I wear this all the time, and then I just like tie this up to give it a little bit more shape. Um, the tie has actually come a little bit looser than it normally is, but I will wear this outfit all the time. So I just have like the suede, my suede felty whatever hat, um, paired with like a band tee, and then leggings and shoes. Um, I typically wear a cardigan over this because I get cold really fast, but um, another thing is Kaya likes to like say all the colors of every single Rolling Stones like logo on my shirt. She'll be like black and yellow, red, red and animal print or cheetah. <laughs> She's so cute. Like I said, none of these are like super fancy outfits, but here is that tie day like boxy crop tee. Um, I will almost always wear this with a sweatshirt um, just because it also hides my little mom pooch I've got. There it is, Mer, little mom pooch. Um, anyways, I like to hide it. So this is how I will typically wear it with like my Steve Madden shoes, leggings, shirt, hat. This is me like getting ready to do a cleaning video for you guys or um, possibly going on a walk. I always switch out like these like loungewear tees, but anyways, here is the maroon one. Next up is the Pebby Ferebi um, side slit tee. So I'm not wearing anything around my waist because I want to show you guys what it looks like as a side slit. Um, so you see what I mean? Like I just, I've got a booty, I've got hips and the side slit just gives me that extra movement that I need and also hides the mom belly really nicely. So I feel, I just feel like cute when I wear these and I feel like I'm like still put together. Um, again, like shoes can really make the outfit. I'm just keeping the hat on for like whatever purposes, but love the Pebby for heavy shirts and like, see what I mean? Like I'm sticking my hip out right now and they just, it just flows. It fits so nice and this is a really great fall color. Okay, and here is the army green boxy tee from Target um, and I also have this in a white. Army green for fall or it's like more of like an olive green I should say. It's not an army green, definitely more of an olive green. Um, I'm going to swap out for the white here really quick and show you a fun outfit and a couple of different ways to wear it. 
Okay, so here is that white boxy tea. It's kind of wrinkly right now, um, but the, here is the white boxy tea with the black cardigan on top. I've got my black hat, and then to, <laughs> excuse you, this outfit was the leopard slip-on sneakers because it matches super well. Um, I wore this outfit, this exact outfit for a photo shoot just recently because it's like, it's super cute, but also is super like real as a mom because like you could be wearing no hat, right? Like around the house, like cleaning and this would be just super comfy. And then once you're leaving the house, you just like toss the hat on, toss a cute pair of shoes on and you're ready to go and run errands and you look put together, but you're also comfy. You could come back and snuggle and like watch some Halloween movies. So anyways, here is one look with this white boxy tee. Okay, so here's another look that I've really been loving with this white tee lately. I love like the simplicity of the white. I know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day, but screw it. It's so cute. I have the white boxy tee, the um, the like cheetah leopard, whatever you call it, hat from Target, um, and then that copper cardigan that I love so much with from Ruli. It doesn't need to be copper, but you could do like black um, or even like a charcoal gray. Um, this outfit, do you see what I mean? Like it just the t like the copper tones like mixed with that white and black. I don't know. I love it. I love this outfit so much, um, and I wear this all the time. I'd say I probably wear this outfit like once a week. But um, anyways, yeah, my favorite. I think that just like the simplicity because it, the hat is so busy, the rest of the outfit needs to be kind of quieter and the copper and the black match the copper and the black like in the hat. So anyways, I love this one. This is the look that I think I get the most questions on on my Instagram. So here is that tee that like over not tee that oversized like button up that I was trying, trying to show you guys and like why I like it wrinkly um this one is very black on black on black and I like it it's edgy it's like Halloweeny it's so cute um here I'm just wearing it with the Steve Madden shoes um and then with this I'm going to show you um what that headband would look like with this the bandana headband I'm going to try it out and let you guys see what it looks like um but anyways this is typically how I would wear this outfit. Okay, so I probably wouldn't do like a blue one, but I'd probably do like a black bandana with this outfit. So this gives you guys like a better look, like when it's not directly in the mirror here, um, what this bandana looks like. I would pair this with so many different things. Again, I've got a black one, a white one, and a navy one. Um, I wouldn't pair the navy with the black. But just showing you like this style of outfit that I would wear this bandana with. Um, I'd also wear it with like that white tee and then have like an oversized cardigan with it. Super cute. I love this like bandana look. All right, so pretty much same look, different tee. This is one of my favorites. It's This one's super stretchy compared to all of the other ones. But again, like cardigan around my waist, leggings, Steve Madden shoes. I need like 10 more colors in these because I wear them all the time. Um, but just like a very like standard look for Morgan by Lind. If you see me out in public, this is typically what I'm wearing. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for the cardigan, boxy tee, and Steve Madden's because it's probably me. But anyway, I feel like I have my um, poop in a group if I have my hair curled because like I said, then I can just like throw a hat on, dry shampoo, super low maintenance. Curls are super low maintenance and they look good all the time. So anyway, okay. So this is one of the final outfits for like the loungewear. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna show you guys an outfit without a hat. My hair is getting like really like crazy and frizzy because I've been putting hats on and off. But okay, so this is that, um, cardigan that oversized cardigan that is a triple xl because it was the only one left um they might still have some triple x's left i don't know um but this is just like a i think this is like a tank dress this is like a fitted tank dress um but i have just that underneath it likely wear something maybe like long sleeve also those are scratches in my mirrors it's on my mirror it's like not dirty but anyway um oversized cardigan and the Steve Madden shoes, pretty much the same outfit as um, the other ones I've been showing you, but different colors. I have a million cardigans in my closet, so I can swap out these looks super easy. And these, of course, are looks that I can wear in the winter as well. These colors are just more um, fall friendly versus like winter, even though I would probably still wear this in the winter if I'm being honest. But anyway, so here is that cardigan, that really oversized cardigan. 
Okay, and this is the dress. Um, I'm wearing leggings underneath just because um, for like ease of changing in this video. Literally changed like 50 times. So I'm not taking the leggings off, but typically I would wear nylons with this and like either like little black booties or um, tan mules. Um, so it like, you see what I mean? I think I should have gotten a size smaller. It should, it should hit me like a little bit higher, um, but this color is gorgeous. I'm not a huge florally, like over like girly print person, um, but it was just girly enough, if you know what I mean. Um, I will pair it with this hat for the groom's dinner. And then, like I said, um, some like black wedge heels some black wedge boots, um, and then nylons underneath. I will not wear black leggings, but um, like I said, just because I've changed a million times already, I wanted to just leave the leggings on, but I love this dress. Isn't this like emerald green? It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Okay guys, I have saved the best for last. Um, this is the Baltic Born dress in that emerald green. I have been pairing it with the black hat, pairing it with the um, cheetah mules. That these colors go so well together. And plus you don't really see my feet when I wear, these sh when I wear this dress anyways, but <laughs> just like a little pop, say oop, see peekaboo, just like a little pop of a print. This is hands down my most favorite piece. I love the cuffs, love the gold, gold details. Don't mind my ratchet nails right now, I need to redo them before the wedding on Saturday, but I love the details on the sleeve cuffs. And this like, this neckline is so beautiful. Like this would be so nursing friendly. If you were nursing, this would be perfect um, because you could just kind of like, see what I mean, stretchy, like pulls to the side. Um, and again, like if you were pregnant, um, this dress, the way it hits, would have plenty of room for a belly. So whether you're planning a fall wedding, a maternity shoot, if you just had a baby, or like me, you just kind of have a leftover mom pooch, this is the most perfect dress for any body shape or size, whether you're pregnant, not pregnant, you're postpartum, this is such a forgiving, beautiful dress. And the back, if you guys can see the back, I don't know if you guys can see that, it hits right above my butt, so like accentuates my butt, um, and then it has like a little, you see that, like a little tie. And I think that it deserves all of the attention, so. All right. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this fall clothing haul. I hope you enjoyed all of the looks that I put together for you guys. I haven't ever done anything like to this extent for you, but I get so many questions on my clothes, my outfits, same with the kids. So stay tuned for the kids' fall clothing haul. We'll be doing a haul for all, everything that I got for them or just kind of the pieces that I gravitate towards and how I put their looks together um, because they do kind of still fit into their clothes from the summer. I ended up buying more like fall colors towards the end of the summer. Um, so I want to show you guys how I put those together. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a lot of work. It's been three hours in the making. So be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked this video. Everything again is linked down below for you guys. And I will see you guys on Sunday for a motivational video, okay? Bye guys.